Welcome to Pat's Stats. The first exhibition games of the Major League Baseball season are one week away. The Mets and Yankees are one of those games. Though I think there's two games at least scheduled right now for next Saturday. So I thought now is a good time to give you my standings predictions for the shortened 2020 Major League Baseball season. It's simple. We're, we're going to go by division and like league, basically, and just give you what I think each team will finish at. To start, on the side is just the breakdown. So here is, if I have a team, whatever, on this side, if I have a team at 27 wins, 72.9 would be the equivalent if it were an 162-game season, since each game in the 60-game season counts as 2.7 games in the regular season. Getting um, in last place for the AL East, we have the Orioles at 17 and 43. Now that only is equal to about 45, basically 46 wins in 162 game season, and I think that's a little low for um their team level. But they're going to be playing a bunch of good teams, including the AL East, their own division with the Yankees, Rays, and Red Sox who are okay. And then the NL East with the Nationals, Braves, Mets, and Phillies, which are all pretty good. So that's what kind of gets them down a little bit. Fourth place are the Blue Jays at 28 and 32. They are much improved. They signed a, a big pitcher this offseason, and they're very young. The Red Sox are just over 500 at 31 and 29. They trade Mookie Betts, which is big. I still like their hitting. Their pitching isn't great. But that's not going to be good enough to make the postseason. What will be good enough to make the postseason is the Tampa Bay Rays. They'll be a wild card team because they're coming in second place in the AL East. They're going to be 34 and 26. Um, be in first place, though, are the New York Yankees. Three games better than them at 37 and 23, and that equals just about a hundred win season in the regular season. I think they'll be in first place. For the AL Central, last place are the Detroit Tigers at 20 and 40. I actually think the Tigers are the worst team, worse than the Orioles, but the Tigers um, are in a less harder division. I think they might get a couple more wins here and there. 20 and 40. The Royals will be 26 and 34. The Indians, um, they're a weird team. They, they have good pitching, but not very good hitting. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs just over 500 at 31 and 29. The White Sox, they are a much improved team. I like what they did in the offseason. They have now Dallas Keuchel and Yasmani Grandal to add to their other veterans, including Jose Abreu. They have a bunch of young people, including Tim Anderson, Yohan Moncada, um, who else? Eloy Jimenez and Luis Robert. And I think they're going to be just enough to make the wild card, and they um, will come in second place. Because in first place are the Minnesota Twins, the reigning National League, uh, American League Central champions. They will be 35 and 25. They're, they came off a 100 win, or an, I think 100 win season last year. Um, if it was a 162 game season, I think they'd be 94, 95 wins. For the AL West, the worst team is the Seattle Mariners. They don't have much going for them right now, 24 and 36. For the Rangers, they are improved, but I don't think they're much improved enough to make the playoffs. They're going to be 28 and 32. The Angels and A's are tied at 31 and 29, both not enough to make the playoffs. And I bet you're wondering about why I put the Athletics so low, because they did win 90 games last year. I just feel like it isn't all there for me. Their pitching is decent, their hitting is okay for me. Um, they seem to always get off to a slow start, which is why I'm putting them at this. Um, lowest or second place. And at number one are the Houston Astros. Even though they cheated, I still think they're going to have a pretty solid year at 35 and 25. Starting with the NL East, I think the best division in baseball. The Marlins will be 23 and 37 in last place. Um, they're getting a tiny bit better every year, it seems like, but definitely not enough to make the playoffs. The fourth place. Fourth place Phillies will be thirty and thirty. Um, I don't think they're going to have to make the playoffs. Some people do. Some some people think so. Some people don't think so. I don't think they're good enough. The Mets and Nationals are tied for second slash third place at thirty three and twenty seven. But they will both make the postseason. But they are just not good enough to catch the Atlanta Braves, who finished just one game better than them in first place at thirty four and twenty six. For the NL Central. The Pirates will be 26 and 34, I think. I mean, I think 
again, the Central is not very good, so that's why I think I get I gave them a little bit, a little more wins than I would have. Yeah. I think the Brewers were coming fourth place at 31 and 29. Um, they lost a lot of pieces this offseason, including Grandal and Moustakis. Those are two big pieces. And um, their pitching is not very good. They have Christian Yelich and a couple other good hitters, but I don't think it's good enough to make the playoffs. And neither will the Cardinals or Cubs, who finished one game better than them at 32 and 28. With the Cardinals, I feel they have they don't have great hitting, and for the Cubs, they don't have great pitching. Um, both I don't think will be enough because the Reds will come in first place at 34 and 26. Um, they are a much improved team from last year. First of all, they have a great top three in their rotation: Sonny Gray, Luis Castillo, and Trevor Bauer. Um, from last year, their hitting already includes Eugenio Suarez, Joey Votto, and uh, Aristides Aquino, and they also went out and signed Mike Moustakis, and I'm uh, pretty sure they also signed a Japanese player, who, who might be good, we'll see. So yeah, I think the Reds will come in first. For the last division in baseball, the NL West, I think the Giants will come in last place at 24-36. and 36. Um, I don't like their manager, Gabe Kapler, and they have a very old veteran-based team. And I don't think they're going to be good for the upcoming years at all. The Rockies will be close to 500 at 29-31, but their pitching is not very good. Their hitting's good, but their pitching is not going to get them a playoff spot. The Padres are a young team. A lot of people are putting them as a team that could overperform expectations. I'm not. I just don't think they're there yet. They have a lot of up-and-coming stars. I just don't think they're there yet. One or two years, and I think they'll be good. The Diamondbacks will be 31-29. and 29. They had a good season last year, 85 wins, which would equal about 31-32 and 32 in this um, season. I think that they have, they, they improved a little bit, but I just don't think they're enough to make the playoffs. And definitely not enough to catch the Los Angeles Dodgers, who I think will finish first place and be the best team in baseball with, with a 38-22 um, and 22 record, the equivalent of about 102, 103 wins in a 162-game season. You have to like their offense, adding two MVP-level players in Mookie Betts and with already Cody Bellinger. They have a stacked lineup, pretty good pitching with Kershaw and Walker Buehler, and yeah, they, they are a pretty good team. So that's all for Pat's stats today. Next, um, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. We'll use these standings, and I'll predict the postseason, how that will finish. But that's tomorrow's, and thank you for watching this one.